Hey there everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a, another Roots 24 video. Today we're going to check out a little bit of Caligula Overdose. Uh, this game came out, I think two months ago, um, like in May, in Japan, and it has been announced quite, quite recently for an English release. Um, and I think it's due in the beginning of next year. So a bit of a wait, we're looking at half a year or something like that. So we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. I think we're just gonna start with normal just to get a baseline of the gameplay. Uh, the game is a bit of a remake, kind of a release. I'm not quite sure how to categorize it. It did come out on the Vita a couple years ago, and I actually did not check it out. And I'm not sure a lot of people did. So if you missed out uh, missed out on it the first time, you're not alone. Um, but I, I guess it's good that we're getting a... It's, like a, it's almost a remake, because I think they're switching up the engine entirely. So we're going in totally blind. I honestly have no idea anything about this game. Like I mentioned, I didn't play the video game, like the original, and I didn't look up anything. We're just going to choose our gender now so we can be a boy or a girl. Um, I tend to typically choose female characters, just I don't know. So it's telling us to choose a last name, and we have to pick a name that's within three characters. When the game comes out in English, I guess they're going to have to totally change that. Because in, like, Japanese names tip typically aren't more than three kanji, which is why I think they give you that, like, limit. But very few English names are only three or, or three letters or less. So that'll be interesting to see. What should we go with? Um... I'm really, really bad at choosing Japanese names. I guess we can use, like... Ni... Let's use, like, 20... 4. So I've typed that in a bunch of times, actually. That's why it shows up in my autocomplete. So that's actually really, really handy uh, for this. So we can do 20 for our last name. And now for our first name, is asking again for three characters. Um, your name is 24. You can't change your name. Uh, you can in real life, but not here. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Thank you. It's like nice name. So this person thing, I don't know, is telling us that she'll take us to like a heaven uh, where we can forget about all our troubles and all that stuff. So that sounds pretty good. So this... Okay, so this looks like a typical, like, Japanese high school graduation ceremony. Like the second year representative. Okay, so this is like a third year representative, Hibiki Kensuke. Really, really bad at Japanese names. Okay, that's us. So we're the second year representative. Um, oh, we have dialogue options, so we can talk about, like, welcoming new students. Um, like, talk about our school activities or talk about the future. I don't know, future. That sounds nice.
This is like the beginning of an RPG. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of like dialogue. Okay, so this is the first year representative like entering the school and it's Hibiki Kensuke. It's the same guy. That's the same name. That's the same name as the third year representative. Hi. That's not normal. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't know what's happening. So they're talking, those people are talking about how we or our character can see, presumably, those things. Um, they weren't using their mouth to talk, so I'm not sure if they were talking to each other in their minds or... If they just piece together a conversation without realizing it. So, like, I do know a couple things about this game. Um, other than the fact that it was a video game. It has a bunch of music from some well-known composers, so that's really, really cool. So I'm expecting some kind of music theme uh, to go on. And... Actually, that's, that's about it. I do know that this version, this overdose um, release, is supposed to have some extra like endings, maybe, but I haven't looked too far into it. Um, I know it will be released in English. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be released in English by NIS, Nippon Ichi Software. Right, there's a lot of stuff um, to piece together right now. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Um, so this character's name is Mew. That's like just the Greek symbol, I guess. She says, I'm sorry. I haven't made the outside of the town yet, so you actually can't enter the station. Also, I promised that I won't let anyone else... I won't let anyone, like, to go outside. So she's saying, like, it's not normal for people to want to actually escape Mebius. Is there anything that's not to your liking? If you let me know, I'll just do whatever you want. Okay, uh, Mebius or Nantoka. Mebius? I actually don't know anything about this. Okay, so that is the real name of the city. I made half this city. Um, she's like, I guess you realize that this was a fake. Because, like, something was kind of weird or something was lacking. Um, what do you want? What would make you stay here forever? So I don't need anything. Uh, so maybe money. Or which is like a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Let's be honest here. Of course, we have to choose that one. What? <laughs> I'm not sure what this means. He's like, I'll bring them out or something. 
Um, okay, sure. Okay, so I guess it doesn't work on certain people. Um, so she's like, oh, do you really want to go home? Right, so anything but that, apparently. I don't know what's happening. So that thing, that light, I guess, which I guess is that fairy, is like telling um, Mute to like to leave this place to go home, and she's like, "I can't. I promise." Okay, she's just flying away. Okay. Okay, so these guys are super pissed apparently that Mew left and it's our fault. So he's telling us to like prepare ourselves. Um, one thing that bothers me about these guys is that, or all the characters for that matter, is that no, nobody's mouth moves when they talk. It feels like I'm nitpicking, but it's just been a while since I played a game where no one's mouth actually moves. Oi, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like struggling, but he's actually not doing anything. Maybe. Alright, so I guess he's, he headbutted me and I calmed down and now we're running away, which is normal, I guess. あ、危ないところだったな。俺は佐竹翔吾。未来わかるだろうが、お前と同じ学校だ。オッケー、そう、he's okay, like the weird people. So she's referring to us as you, like in English. Um, so that's weird. Nanda Okay, um, she's like a muse friend, but not really. Alright, so she, like, he's like saying that she has a pretty big voice for someone so small. It's so weird, like, um, the game is supposed to be a remake, but I think you can still tell that it was originally a Vita game, just with all the animations. Uh, like, the running animation. Um, and their talking animation or something, like, I don't know, it feels like... Right, so I'm, it's, it feels like it's just a really, really good Vita up-res, but I'm not saying that makes it a bad game, but it just feels kind of obvious here. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to get some power to fight these guys. Um, so this character, Arya, is asking us in English, apparently. Oh, well, why did you come to this world? Um, you also felt like some kind of pain or suffering in like the real world. Alright. So why do we come to this world in, in the first place? Um, let's see here. I guess... Hmm. Like, I, I guess I'll go with this bottom one, which is like, I want to forget something from the past. I don't know if any of these choices have any weight. Okay, so apparently that wasn't good enough. Okay, how about this one? I have a secret that I can't tell anyone. Um Okay. I want to pretend like it never happened. でも I'm sure that means something in some language. Okay, so I guess we have power now, which are guns and apparently something through my heart. Those guns are really shiny. Okay, so I guess this is our battle tutorial now that we have power. So we didn't have to play it too much uh, to get into a battle tutorial. Okay, so when you... There's like... There are choices to, in battle, obviously. And there's three different, like, types, I guess, or three different, like, actions you can take. You can take... You can use attacks that cause damage. You can... Um, there are skills that will, like, debuff or... Buff or debuff you and your enemies. And then you can guard or dash. So those kind of actions. This is like really complicated. This is something, this is like a really, really unique battle system. I haven't seen this in any kind of game. When you choose an action, I guess you can see um, time, like a couple seconds ahead. Um, so that's like, it's not exactly the future, but it's kind of like a prediction. So it's not guaranteed apparently. So the lower the hit rate, then like the lower than that action will actually happen. So yeah, it's a prediction. It's not guaranteed. Okay, we can use a follow-up skill by hitting the circle.
Okay. So I guess we'll just see how it how it works out. So yeah, you can follow up. You can add additional attacks um, by hitting circle. You can add on to whatever action you're going to take. Alright, so it's telling us to use critical trigger. Not critical trigger. Ku kuhado kuhado turiga. I'm actually quad trigger? Maybe? Is that supposed to be quad? Anyways, so um by hitting circle. So that apparently will might happen. 95% hit rate if we choose that. So doing that again, we'll probably shoot that guy, kill him, and then we'll get hit from behind it looks like. So if we change our target to this guy, maybe it'll change. So we'll kill that guy and that guy will miss. And then he'll approach and then hit us like way lay, like way down there. So that probably makes more sense to hit the guy behind us then. So we can hit that guy. Hit circle to add an attack. And then I guess we can we can change. So this is what happens. Okay, well that's fine. We have a 95% hit rate, so I assume that's good. I, we have one more action that we can use. We can hit either one of these guys. Well, I'm not sure that'll change anything though. Okay, we'll just shoot the air. Sure, let's just go with that. Okay, so that's interesting. I guess that's the battle system here. It's really like time-based or something, so that's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's, let's go ahead and take a break here. So we're, we're gonna keep playing. I, I want to see what the game is like, so we'll play for as long as we can, for a couple hours at least. If you don't want to miss, if you don't want to miss the next part when it comes to the channel, just keep an eye on it. It'll be up probably within a couple days. You can let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, you can also like just leave a comment. You can follow me on Twitter. You'll find a link to my profile down below. And go ahead and check out some other videos. If you head on over to the channel, there's some other videos there for you to watch. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again. Take care.